Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to do a top-down analysis on US, US 30 and we are going to start our analysis from higher time frame which is monthly time frame. We'll come down to lower time frames, 30 minute and 15 minute time frame. From higher time frames, we, uh, like we are going to find out the direction of the market and on the lower time frames, 1 hour, 30 minutes and 15 minutes, we will take our intraday and scalping setups in the direction of the higher time frame. So without wasting any time, let's get started. First of all, we are going to start with the monthly time frame. Now, as we can see here, the last uh, we, we had the support price broken close below the support. So, uh, once we get the break and close below the support, we expected the price to uh, make a top week and uh, move to the next support. As we can see, this was the support. So, price pretty much hit that area and. Uh, this monthly candle is still in progress so like we have two days left so still we don't know how this monthly candle is going to close but if we like close bullish then we are expecting the price to move to the uh, next resistance which is here and the next resistance is there and if we get a further break and close above that area then we are expecting the price to move to the next resistance which is right here so this is something we are going to expect but it totally depends upon how we get the closure because we still have two days left but if we don't close like that and if we close uh, bearish if we close bearish something like this with the wick fill then what we are expecting the next monthly candle we are expecting the price to make a top wick into this area and the flip bearish and uh, fill this whole range to the next support like this so it totally depends upon how we get this monthly candle close so let's wait and watch now let's see what's happening on the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame guys last weekly candle closed bullish after so many week i mean after so many bearish week this is going to be the first weekly candle which is closing bullish and uh, this was a support initially as we can see right in here we had the weekly support so price just hit that area and we get a bullish candle closure at the support now if you see this was a resistance right here and price broke and closed above this resistance as well the only problem that i see in this weekly candle is that we do not have the top week means we do not have the range to go up so it's like 50 50 now that the price is going to go up or not but still because the weekly candle was bullish so we expect the price to remain bullish now what we are expecting we expect the price to make a bottom week into this area recent broken zone and then move to the next resistance which is right here in this area so what we are expecting we want the price to open reach us this recent broken zone and move to the next resistance which is up there this is going to be on the weekly now let's see what daily is doing right on daily guys as you can see there was a resistance we can see this this is even a resistance Price broken close above the resistance, so we are moving to the next resistance right here. So as you can see, price broken close above the resistance, so then we want the next daily candle to open, retest the recent broken zone, and move to the next resistance like this. And if we get another daily candle closure above that resistance, then we will expect the price to move to the next resistance as well, which is right here in that area. So. This is what we are going to expect. Of course, it totally depends upon how we get the daily candle closure. Now, let's see what's happening on the four hour chart as well. As you can see on the four hour chart, we have, there is a resistance right here and there is uh, another resistance right up here. So as you can see, four hour chart, four hour time frame, price already closed above this resistance and the next resistance is right up there. So what we expect on the four hour chart, we expect the price to make a bottom week into this recent broken zone or maybe into this area and then move to the next resistance and if we get a closure of that area then we expect the price to move to the next resistance area like that so that totally depends upon how we get consecutive like next candles close so we are bullish on the four hour as well on the one hour time frame let's see where the zones are on the one hour as you can see we have the resistance right up there and as you can see the price hasn't closed above the resistance so now we talk, talk about the next resistance the next resistance is up there so what are we going to wait for so there are two options either we can wait for the price to 
because as you can see there the price has moved a lot in this area so we are expecting the price to either we can uh, wait for the price to like uh, give us a bearish kind of closure at this resistance area come down to the support area right and uh, then give us some kind of at the support area or anywhere if we get some bullish candle closure then we can expect the price to move to the next resistance which is right up there and if we get a break and close over that area we are expecting the price to move to the next resistance which is up there after retesting this area it all depends upon how we get from the market now this is going to be one way other way as i already mentioned if we get a break and close over that area we are expecting the price to move to the next area and now on the 30 minutes let's see what's happening on the 30 minute we haven't closed a bow now if we talk about the resistance so yeah, this is going to be a resistance on the 30 minute chart and the next resistance is up there. Also, we can mark this one as a level because the price interacted with this level multiple times in the past. So this it can also be considered a zone as well. So same like one hour chart, uh, either we can wait for the price to come down, make some kind of support and move, or we can wait for the price to break and close above that area. Now on 15 minutes, let's check where, this, where we have the supports and resistance. Now, as you can see, the resistance is the same on the 15 minute chart as well. Next resistance is here as well. That's okay. And the final resistance there. So it's a 15 minute, 30 minute, and one hour chart. So, like, same. We are going to wait for the price to come down, make some kind of support, and continue higher. Or, like, uh, wait for the price to give us a break and close above this area in order to move higher. Now, if we talk about, uh, like, felt, now we can see that uh, this one is going to be our uh, support. So like on the one hour four chart, it's looking like that and on the one hour, I think that's cool. If we get a break and close below that area, like uh, on the 15 minute, 30 minute and one hour chart, if we get a break and close below that area, so we will expect the price to reach this recent broken zone and move to the next support right here and another next support and next support. So. We will be waiting for the price to move to the next support like this. This is what we are expecting if the price doesn't go in the upward direction and keep going bullish and uh, printing there. So, sorry, if the price keep going down. So that's what we are expecting on the 15 minute chart. So that's it guys, this will be analysis uh, or you can say the top down analysis from the monthly to the 15 minute chart and where we talk about uh, scalping and intraday setups as well. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you really did like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel in order to support the channel and YouTube algorithm. Thank you very much. See you in another video.